Welcome to the video tutorial for the HeartCheck Pen handheld ECG device. The HeartCheck Pen is the world's first FDA cleared and Health Canada approved handheld heart rhythm recording device that can be unlocked under the direction of a physician to allow consumers and patients to view and print their own ECGs. The device stores up to 20 ECGs, which can later be transferred and printed from a computer or sent to an ECG coordinating center for analysis. In this video, you'll learn about the features of the device, how to take heart readings, how to use the smart monitoring surface to upload ECGs to a physician or ECG coordinating center, and how to unlock your device to allow you to view and print your own ECGs. Inserting the batteries. Before you can use the HeartCheck Pen handheld ECG device, you'll need to install the two AAA batteries included in the package. The battery compartment is located at the back of the device. Simply slide the hinge to the right to remove the battery cover. Install the batteries by lining up the positive and negative symbols on the battery with the corresponding symbols on the battery compartment. Remember to turn the device off before replacing the batteries. Setting the date and time. Once the batteries have been installed or replaced, you'll need to set the date and time. To turn the device on, press the power button located on the front of the device. Once powered on, by default, the monitor will display the heart rate measurement category. Use the black up and down arrow buttons to the left of the monitor to scroll through the five available categories. The five categories available on the HeartCheck Pen are heart rate measurement, heart rate recordings, system setup, delete data, and about. Use the arrow buttons to scroll through the categories and the OK button to select the category of your choice. To set the date and time, use the arrow buttons to scroll to the system setup category. Once on the system setup category, press the OK button to open the system setup menu. Once in the System Setup menu, scroll to and select the Setup Date menu. Use the arrow buttons to change the day, month, and year. Once the correct number is selected, press the OK button to move on to the next column. When the correct date is selected, press and hold the OK button to return to the previous menu. Next, scroll to and select the Setup Time category. Use the arrow buttons to select the correct hour, minute, and second. When the correct time is selected, press and hold the OK button to return to the previous screen. Taking hand measurements. There are two ways to take a measurement of your heart using the HeartCheck Pen device. The first way is a hand measurement. To take a hand measurement, Hold the device, ensuring the metal electrodes are in direct contact with your skin. Your right and left index fingers should make full contact with the metal electrodes located on the top and side of the device, and your left and right thumbs should make full contact with the two metal electrodes located on the front of the device. To better ensure you're getting a high-quality ECG reading, be seated while resting your elbows on a sturdy surface, such as a table, while taking the reading. This helps keep your arms steady during the reading period, which will more likely reduce muscle artifact and produce a cleaner reading. While the device is on, you can take a measurement at any time by pressing the Start button located on the front of the device. Press the Start button to enter the preparation stage. After the 6 second preparation stage is complete, the device will begin the ECG reading. During this period, try to remain still and do not flex or move your fingers or arms until the reading is complete. It takes 30 seconds to obtain a complete measurement. In unlocked mode, the HeartCheck pen will display your ECG waveform during the reading period. However, if the pen has not been unlocked, during the reading period, a heart icon will appear in place of your ECG. 
Later in the video, we'll show you how to unlock your HardCheck Pen device using the free GEMS Home software. Once the measurement is complete, the device will provide the heart rate and a basic analysis of the ECG reading. Select the OK button to save the results within the device. Since everyone's body type is unique, a hand measurement may not necessarily produce the highest quality ECG reading in all people. Some ECG readings may produce an ECG waveform that is not clear enough for a healthcare professional or physician to make an accurate diagnosis. A common indicator that the ECG reading may be unclear is that after the reading is complete, the monitor displays an unexpected heart rate message. If this is the first time using the device, or if you haven't used the device in a while, try repeating the reading process up to three times to allow the device to adjust to your body type. If after repeating the reading process, the device continues to display the unexpected heart rate message, try taking a chest measurement. Taking chest measurements. To take a chest measurement using the pen device, hold the device with your right hand, ensuring your thumb and index finger are making direct contact with the metal electrodes. Place the other electrode against the left side of your chest. The electrode should be placed on bare skin about two inches below your left nipple. When ready, press the start button to enter the preparation stage and begin the 30 second reading. If the monitor continues to display the unexpected heart rate message after taking the chest measurement, consider consulting a physician or using the smart monitoring service to upload your ECGs through GEMS Home for analysis. The message may be the result of a poor quality recording or the presence of a fast or slow heart rate. Using GEMS Home. The HeartCheck Pen will allow you to record and save your ECGs, but you'll need the free GEMS Home software in order to view, print, or use the smart monitoring service to send your ECG files to an ECG coordinating center for analysis. When you first receive your HeartCheck Pen device, it will be in lock mode. While in this mode, you will not be able to view or print ECG waveforms. While the pen is locked, the device's monitor will display a heart icon during the reading period. It is only when the pen has been unlocked through GEMS Home will you be able to view and print your ECG waveforms within the GEMS Home software. Once unlocked, the device's monitor will also display your actual ECG waveform during the recording period. In order to unlock your heart check pen device, you will need to receive your first Smart Monitoring Heart Rhythm Analysis Report through GEMS Home. Your first report is free of charge. GEMS Home can be downloaded from the HeartCheck website and easily installed on your PC in only a few minutes. Launch GEMS Home by double-clicking the GEMS Home icon located on your desktop. Once launched, GEMS will display the three main areas of GEMS Home. These three areas are Manage User, Manage Your Data, and Smart HR Review. Before being able to use GEMS Home, you'll need to create a user. You can do this by selecting the Click Here button in the Manage Users section and entering your information in the appropriate fields. In order to have an ECG Coordinating Center provide heart rhythm analysis reports on your ECGs, you will need to verify an email address. To do this, simply enter your email address in the Email Address field and select the Verify button just below it. Shortly after selecting the Verify button, you will receive an email from HeartCheck containing a verification link. Select the link or copy and paste the link into your browser to complete the verification process. In order to receive email notifications when your reports are ready, ensure Receive Email Notification is selected and select Attach Report to Email Notification in order to ensure your Smart Monitoring Heart Rhythm Analysis Report is included in your email notifications as well as within GEMS Home. Click the Save button to save the new user within GEMS Home. Up to five users can be created per device, and you can view and manage all of your users by selecting the List Users button. When you're ready to upload your heart rhythm files, connect the HeartCheck Pen device to your computer using the USB cable provided. Make sure the device is turned on so it can be detected by the GEMS Home software. When you connect your device for the first time, GEMS Home will take a moment to authenticate your device. 
Until your device has been authenticated, you will only be allowed to create one user within GEMS Home. Once authenticated, GEMS Home will begin the process of importing heart rhythm files directly from your device. Whenever you import records into GEMS Home, you may optionally erase the heart rhythm files from the heart check pen. The import process may take a few moments depending on how many heart rhythm files are stored on your device. Once the import has completed, GEMS Home will list all of the heart rhythm files imported from the device. The files will be listed by heart rate and the date and time the recording was taken. From this screen, you can delete entries as well as assign entries to specific users within GEMS Home. You can also create diary entries for each heart rhythm file. These diary entries help your physician or healthcare professional better understand what you may have been doing or feeling at the time of the recording. To request a smart monitoring review, select the smart monitoring review button. From this screen, select the Request Smart Monitoring Review button. Check the heart rhythm file or files you would like to have reviewed and select the Upload Selected HRs button to begin uploading the selected heart rhythm files. Your first smart monitoring review is free of charge. It will take up to 48 hours to receive your smart monitoring heart rhythm analysis report from the time you upload your heart rhythm files. A notification email will be sent to you when a report is ready. Alternatively, you can also check for reports through GEMS Home in the Smart Monitoring Review section. Simply click the Check for Reports button or the Notifications button to have GEMS Home search for any available reports. When a report is ready, it will be displayed within the Smart Monitoring Review section of GEMS Home. Simply double-click the listing to open the report. Once you've received and reviewed your first Smart Monitoring Heart Rhythm Analysis Report, you can now unlock the pen device to display your ECG waveforms. You can do this in the Manage Data section of GEMS Home by simply clicking Unlock HR Display. Once the unlocking process is complete, you can view your ECG waveforms both while taking a recording and within GEMS Home. Viewing ECGs on your device. In case you would like to view an existing ECG recording, the HeartCheck Pen device allows you to access each recording stored within your device. To access the recordings, use the arrow buttons to scroll to the Heart Rate Recordings category and press the OK button to enter. You can scroll through the recordings on your device using the arrow buttons. The monitor will display the heart rate and the date and time of each recording as you scroll through them. In unlock mode, to view the ECG waveform for any given recording, scroll to the recording of your choice and press the OK button. You can scroll through the 30 second ECG waveform using the arrow buttons. Press and hold the OK button to return to the previous screen. Adjusting ECG Replay Speed You can adjust how fast the ECG replays on your screen in the System Setup category. Using the arrow buttons, scroll to and select System Setup. Once in the System Setup menu, scroll to and select the Replay icon. Use the OK button to change the replay speed to Slow, Regular or Fast. Once you've selected your desired replay speed, press and hold the OK button to return to the previous screen. Deleting ECGs. The HeartCheck Pen device can store up to 20 ECGs. To clear ECGs from your device, scroll to and select the Delete Data category. Once in the Delete Data category, you can scroll through the ECGs stored on your device. To delete the ECG, press the OK button, then press it again to confirm and delete the selected ECG file. Press and hold the OK button to return to the previous screen. Adjusting the filter. In some cases, the environmental conditions such as fluorescent lighting 
may affect the quality of your heart reading. You can turn on the filter to help reduce these effects. In the System Setup menu, scroll to and select the filter icon and use the OK button to turn the filter on or off. Adjusting Auto Power Off If left untouched, the HardCheck Pen device will automatically power itself off after a given period of time. You can adjust this feature by scrolling to and selecting the Auto Power Off category, located in the System Setup menu. Use the arrow keys to adjust the auto power off time from 10 to 120 seconds. Thank you for watching the video tutorial for the HardCheck Pen handheld ECG device. For additional information on how to use the device, visit theheartcheck.com.